हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ए लेक्चर ऑन हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन सो हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन्स आर द मशीन्स दोज कन्वर्ट्स हाइड्रोलिक एनर्जी ऑफ ए वॉटर इन टू एन मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एंड दे आर यूजफुल टू जनरेट द पावर्स सो टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन टाइप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक टर्बाइन्स मेनली पेल्टन टर्बाइन कैप्लन टर्बाइन फ्रांसिस टर्बाइन एंड डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दीज थ्री टर्बाइन्स सो टर्बाइन्स ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज ए रोटरी मशीन दैट कन्वर्ट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी एज वेल एज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ वॉटर इन टू एंड मैकेनिकल वर्क एंड इट रोटेट शाफ्ट टू प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी सो द शाफ्ट ऑफ द टर्बाइन इज रोटेटेड that is nothing but mechanical energy and if this rotations of the shafts are carried out in the presence of magnetic field it generates the electricity so basic principle already i told you that it converts potential energy or hydraulic energy into an mechanical work then about the classification of turbine the hydraulic turbines are classified on a different basis so first basis is there that is based on the head basic uh, based on the head the turbines are classified into three categories one is high head turbines second is medium head turbines and third one is low head turbines high head turbines are having the head of head at head of water at inlet is several hundred meters of water and for example it built in turbine up to 1800 meter head it work then medium head water turbines are there so these are up to several hundred, several 100 meters these turbines are used for example francis turbine and very low head turbines are there where inlet energy of water having very low head that is called as low head turbines an example is kaplan turbine then another basis on which the turbines are classified is the hydraulic action of water so according to the principle or action of water the turbines are classified into two categories one is impulse turbine and another is reaction turbines the impulse turbines are those turbines which for which the energy available at inlet is only kinetic energy and the example of the impulse turbine is pelton turbine now reaction turbines are the turbines having the energy at inlet is pressure energy as well as kinetic energy and the example of the reaction turbines are kaplan turbine francis turbine modern francis turbines are the examples of reaction turbine then how how the water is directing to the runner depending on that direction of flow of water in the runner on on that basis the turbines are classified as tangential flow turbine in which the flow of water is in tangential direction to the runner an example of the tangential flow turbine is pelton turbine then radial flow turbine in which the discharge flow discharge of water is radial in direction then axial flow turbine is there along where in which the water is discharge water is entering into the turbine in axial direction then in modern cases we are also having the mixed flow turbine in which the discharge the water is entering in axial as well as radial direction and that example is modern francis turbine then most of the turbines are popular turbines are there these are three turbines already in the classification i have taken their names one is pelton wheel or it is also called as pelton turbine kaplan turbine or and propeller it is also called as propeller turbine and francis turbine so i will uh, afterwards i will differ how kaplan turbine and propeller turbines are different then first turbine we will see now is a pelton turbine or it is also called as pelton wheel so this pelton wheel wheel or turbine is an impulse type of water turbine and it is used for high heads then the full direction of water entering into turbine is tangential direction this turbine is invented by this uh, here allen pelton in 1870s and hence the name is given as pelton turbine the turbine is used for the high heads so here we are having this here one here a uh, picture of the pelton turbine so in which the casing is there and one runner is there 
for a drinner small buckets are attached and one nozzle assembly is also shown then generally the specification of pelton turbine is that the these turbines are used to generate the power up to 400 megawatt so for a more generation of power this turbine is used then the speed of rate ranges from speed of rate ranges from 65 to 800 rpm the efficiency of this turbine is up to 85 rpm 80% 85% then the other turbines are having more efficiency than the pelton turbine the runner diameter of the pelton turbine varies from 0.8 to 6 meter and the operational head is more i told you that is from 15 to 1800 meter so the important parts of pelton turbine will discuss so important parts are there nozzle with uh, spare assembly then runner and bucket casing bracket jet now we will see the diagram so here is having one diagram of the pelton turbine okay so here is one nozzle is there and uh, through which nozzle the impact of water is striking on the bucket which are mounted on the runner and in the nozzle there is one sphere to control the rate of flow of water okay then there is one runner i told you on which the buckets hemi pericle bit buckets at equal spacing are mounted on this runner and when the jet of water coming from nozzle is impacted on the bucket the buckets are going to be rotated as they are mounted on the shaft the shaft is also going to be rotated and shaft is rotating means we have generated mechanical energy then one important part is there of the turbine is casing so casing is there so to uh, safety as acting as a one safety purpose another purpose is there to prevent splashing of the water and next purpose is there the to collect the water and to supply to the tail race this pelton uh, casing for of pelton is used and another is there braking jet is very important component so when we want to stop the turbines suddenly then these braking jets are used so these braking jets are there in opposite direction okay of the our nozzle they are going to, they are going to give the jet and this jet will useful to stop to stop this uh, pelton turbine so i told you that about the construction uh, work, working of this pelton turbine so the flow is tangential okay the runner consisting of single wheel mounted on a horizontal shaft the spear rod which has a spear shaped end can be moved by hand wheel and it will control the discharge of water then here is the some pictorial view is there of the pelton turbine so here so some pictures are there so here is one is there that is one runner mounted on a shaft on which the spherical hemispheric hemispherical buckets are attached these are also very important to actual to know the runner then these pelton wheel turbines in are used for generating more power generation for example in the world is uh, in ambala canteen in india it is used to generate 800 megawatt power then in swiss it is used to generate 1269 megawatt power and in us 1500 megawatt power generation this kind of pelton turbines are used the next turbine we'll discuss about the kaplan turbine so already i told you that kaplan turbine is a reaction type of turbine and for this turbine the water flowing in tangential uh, in axial direction water flows along the axis of the turbine so this kaplan turbine is low head turbine and it is developed by austrian professor viktor kaplan hence the name is given as kaplan turbine so here one is we are having one it is called the yellow portion of that particular diagram is called as hub and on that hub the blades are mounted adjustable blades are mounted so if these blades are adjustable then that turbine is called as kaplan turbine and if these blades are fixed for that hub 
or we can call it it is also called as hub is also called as boss for a boss then that kind of turbine is called as propeller turbine so for propeller turbine the blades are fixed one and for kaplan turbine the blades are adjustable then specification as i told it is low head turbine it is used for the range of 10 to 70 meters the output is also less as head is less so 5 to 200 megawatt the runner diameters are there 2 and 11 meters up to 2 to 11 meters the rotation speed is there up to 70 rpm to 420 rpm and it gives maximum efficiency than other turbine because losses are less because head is also less so runner is i told you then one of the portion important portion is the draft tube is there for this turbine for the reaction turbine draft tube is important because after splashing of the water after generating mechanical work whatever the water is there this leaving to tail race is have is its pressure decreases than atmospheric pressure and it is it become difficult to transfer the water from the turbine to tail race which is acting at, at having atmospheric pressure so to increase the pressure of that water uh, at the outlet of turbine more than atmospheric pressure the draft tubes are used and they are having uh, divergent type of shape there uh, towards outlet they are expanding and due to that the pressure increase kinetic energy decreases and its pressure increases and when the pressure will become more than atmospheric it is safely driven that water is safely driven to the tail race then hub is there or it is called as boss on which that blades are mounted then working out that i told you that uh, here we can see here diagram here it is going to be kaplan turbine is there so so here water is a, one picture view of the kaplan turbine water is flowing in the axial direction vertical direction and for that the adjustable blades are connected then these water strikes on that adjustable blades and it will rotate and due to that the water uh, rotate the, that uh, hub is connected to the shaft shaft will also rotate that way the kaplan turbine is there it is used for uh, low head low head and water is coming in the direction from right direction water is flowing and from the tail race at the bottom side water is flowing out okay and this is going to be the working of the kaplan turbine then it is one of the sectional view of the kaplan turbine then application this kaplan turbine is used in india i am giving example lph is there is there 55 megawatt generation is used in kadra is there in karnataka here it is used to generate 150 megawatt power kodusalli here it is used to generate 120 megawatt almatti dam the kaplan turbine is used there and to generate 275 megawatt turbine so when we have visited tarapur power plant there also we have seen their kaplan turbine then another last type of turbine is a francis turbine the francis turbine is an inward flow reaction turbine and it is having the both combined this combined uh, direction of water coming to the root turbine it radial as well as axial so this is axial as well as axial as well as radial flow turbine it is developed by francis the action turbine medium head it is medium head turbine the specification is there it is used to operate the head from 40 to 60 600 meter head then power generated is up to 800 megawatt the speed range of the turbine is 75 to 1000 rpm and it gives efficiency about 90% and the runner diameter so if maximum efficiency is given by is for pelton uh, kaplan turbine then it is medium for francis turbine and it is low for pelton turbine the runner diameter is in between 0.91 to 10.6 so this is one of the picture view of the francis turbine okay we'll see in detail the main parts of the turbine are one spiral casing now here casing plays any very important role it uh, decreases the pressure of the water during the flow then guide vanes are there to guide the water to flow on that runner effectively on the runner guide vanes are used then runner 
the blades are used, runner is going to be rotated and runner is connected to the shaft, the shaft will rotate and drop the tube after decreasing the pressure, after, after uh, com completion of the work by the water, the pressure of water decreases less and becomes less than atmospheric pressure and due to that it is difficult to take the water to the tail race and for that drop tubes are there which are expanding towards outlet and it will increase the pressure and these are the main parts. Then runner, drop tube, so heart of the transistor turbine is runner. So here we are having one kind of one sectional view. So this is going to be casing is there. So casing again main shaft is uh, to which the runner is connected or for runner the main shaft is connected. Drop tube at the bottom side and tail race where we can store the water. So that is the principal construction of the transistor turbine. So drop tube is very much important for the reaction turbine and drop tube is not required for the impulse turbine. It is filtered by. So this is uh, one of the simulated view of the transistor turbine. So at the bottom side, one drop tube is there. It is uh, expanding and it, it is purpose is to increase the pressure. And from one of the uh, side, one of the side, the water is entering in the spiral casing. So casing is also, if you see the look, the picture in depth, the so casing is also become gradually decreasing area. So pressure is goes on decreasing and uh, due to that pressure is going to be decreasing and kinetic energy is goes on increasing. So this is the reaction turbine. It is the water is having kinetic energy as well as pressure energy. So these turbines are again used in different places. This Koina Dam, our favorite dam is Koina Dam, Maharashtra. So whatever we are getting illustrated from that Koina Dam and it is using is transistor turbine and having power generation up to 50 megawatt. Turkwell, Kenya, it is generating power of 53 megawatt. Koran, Iran is there, the 250 megawatt. And Three George, China is developing 765 megawatt. So China is here also leading, having transistor turbine uh, generating more than 765 meters, 765 megawatt power. Then difference of Pelton, Francis Pelton and Kaplan will summarize now. Then Pelton, uh, impulse turbine, Pelton turbine, Kaplan turbine and Francis turbine. So Pelton turbine is the impulse turbine, Kaplan turbine is a propeller type of turbine and then again it is reaction type of turbine and Francis turbine inward flow reaction turbine. In power generation up to 400 megawatt, the Francis Pelton turbines are used and 200 Kaplan turbines and Francis are used up to 800 megawatt. And speed ranges is also given 65 to 800 for Pelton, Kaplan 70 to 429 and for Francis it is 75 to 1000. And efficiency is here Pelton turbine is less, Kaplan is 80% and Francis it is 90%. So it is a little bit wrong but Kaplan turbine is having more efficiency than other turbines. So here we are concluding our lecture and for next lecture we will go for the analysis part of the turbines. So thank you for today watching me for this particular lecture. Next time we'll definitely we will visit and we will cover the analysis of turbine. Thank you. Thank you very much.